Now this next one I'm actually pretty worried about because I feel like people are gonna think I'm trying to flex my car. Mm. And the idea behind this one is I'm trying to show like my full outfit. Oh, so like I sometimes wear pants. <laughs> All right, Chase, I'm gonna show you my Bumble profile. You've been like lingering and being single long enough, so like, I thought you would never ask. If I could describe my dating history in one word, it would be minimal, lonely. So I've been single for about seven years now. Instead of focusing on relationships, I've been focusing on life and progressing with my businesses. I just got a dog, so that takes a lot of my time. How do I know Max? Well, it turns out we have the same mom. I'm Chase, I'm actually Max's brother, and I'm 35 years old and married. I think his ex has taught him a lot, and he is finally now, years later, kind of digging into those lessons a little bit and is ready to apply them to his next big relationship. All right, Chase, I'm gonna show you my Bumble profile. Let's see what you got. F first picture first, or is it me, me and Duke? <laughs> no. <laughs> what, you don't like this one? I don't know if every girl is gonna like that you know, like your dog is in your bed with you, because they're gonna be like, where am I gonna go? <laughs> it might come across like you like your dog too much, but I do think this shows that you're very fun, you like dogs, which I'm gonna see and be immediately like yes or no. This is one I like because it's, I feel like it shows mm. a more serious mm -hmm. side of me. And I'm not gonna lie, kind of like a, a clenched jawline right there. I heard that, I heard that's a thing. Yeah, TMJ runs in our family, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think this one's good. I think keep this one because it shows a little bit more of the series. Okay, boom. <laughs> Winner. Absolutely not. Well, it shows my wacky side. Yeah, but can't you show that you're goofy and not like a weird person who's locked up in his <laughs> office all day playing like Fortnite for 20 hours? The last one. Yeah. I, because I, I see that and I would immediately think like, hey, we can have fun. Maybe we can go mud. What do you think of? That I, I think is you to a T. My dad I, bod. And no matter how long we sit in the sun, we can never get a tan. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I think that's great. That's all the photos. I think we found some good ones. Not a bad start. I would say the most attractive thing that I instantly see on a profile would be a nice smile. Nice set of chompers really <laughs> pulls me in. I wouldn't say you have nice chompers. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna update our prompts. I First think. of all, what's a prompt? Prompt is like, they ask a question, I give a response, then you can- It's like little icebreakers. So I quote too much from, I'm gonna go with Joe Dirt. If a girl responds knows. back to that, then I know <laughs> that she is a winner. I can tell you about the worst date ever. One time I went on a date with a girl and she made herself burp and then blew it in my face and then laughed. <laughs> I was like, well, <laughs> see you later. The quickest way to my heart is loving Chipotle and Golden Doodles. Everything you've talked about is very fun, very outgoing. I would recommend maybe putting something a little bit more like vulnerable, a little bit more serious. I think that's one of my problems yeah. is I, I think I'm too goofy too often. Yep, absolutely. The quickest way to my heart, getting along with my friends and family. Absolutely. Okay. Ready for this one? Okay. Let's go. I enjoy picking up weights and putting them back down again. And she tells that, that I work out, but, it, but it's also like funny. It's a big part of your life, but you don't take it too seriously. Looking for someone who speaks sarcasm as a second language. It isn't a natural language, so it's funny that I'm saying that. Turns out he's an actual idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get real there for a So we've had funny, we've had sarcasm. Maybe end with something that you're looking for. We will get along if you are Goal oriented. There we go. You're on the right path. There we go. Look at you. I think this is yeah. a winner. Yeah. Well, I just got like 50 matches. What? <laughs> <laughs> so next up, we're gonna choose some things that I'm interested in. I think I should say snowboarding because I really like snowboarding. True, that true. shows that I like to go do adventurous things. Yeah. I think that's important. Is saying that I like to go out to bars? Is that saying that I like to drink too much? Saying I drink too much is saying I drink too much. <laughs> um, okay. I think going to bars is like a very normal thing. How about for film and TV, we say like what kind of movies, because I like horror movies, and if she doesn't like scary movies. You watch a scary movie, she gets scared. She's gonna wanna get closer, mm -hmm. she's gonna feel very safe and protected Boom. by you. you know. I feel like that's good, we have bars, yeah. horror movies, Snowboarding. I approve. I'd swipe right on me. So next up on my basic info, we're gonna go over like my COVID dating. You only date girls with COVID. <laughs> no, Jake. You're doing some weird stuff these days, man. <laughs> yeah, it's not as over, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is basically my comfort level with the whole COVID situation Ooh, going dating on. Dating during COVID can be easy, man. I know. So on the first date, prefer 
virtual or in real life. So they actually had this thing called a night in. Like honest. a virtual thing at your place and her place. Correct, and All there's right. I think there's like games and questions. Okay. It's kind of like icebreakers. I think it'd be really, really cool and it would take me out of my comfort zone. I'm happy to date outdoors, indoors, open to any. I'm open to anything. If you're willing to go on a date with me, <laughs> I'll go anywhere. So now that we're done with the COVID preferences, they actually have this other thing called the Safety and Wellbeing Center. It essentially gives you articles and tips that maybe you don't have someone kind of in your oh, corner cool. that can help you build your profile, help if you have, you know, going through some rejection what can you do to kind of get back on the horse and get back out in the dating world? Good, because I look as much as I would love to be, I can't always be there to help you through this crisis of your dating life. So well, thankfully, Bumble is. I'm glad Bumble is out. So I think I should maybe update these for drinking socially. Socially, yeah. Let's see, smoking. I have to keep smoking at a never. I think the most important one is we should put what we're actually looking for. So we have relationship, Crucial. something casual, don't know yet, marriage. What are you looking for, dude? I feel like for a long time I haven't known, but now I'm, I'm ready to lock. This is a big button for me. I'm to proud of you, bro. Like, should we push it together? I'm a my own man. <laughs> relationship. All right, so the new profile is officially locked in. So now instead of just a giant fluffy dog, we have, I feel like this shows my style. Then we have our new bio. I think that bio is perfect. And then immediately Sweet into sense. dude. Classic dog. Sh shows it. dog guy. Mm -hmm. We have the movie quotes going on. <laughs> Th kept the stoic photo and the Great. close up selfie. Shows a little bit about, our, about ourselves. And then the Jeep. And then I feel like we kind of like, this seals the deal. Oh yeah. As the final photo with the wacky margarita. It's either that or hey, I got a timeshare I want to sell you in Florida. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, bro. This Any, is the anybody profile. comes across that profile, the words, the pictures, it's a vibe. It's a vibe, man. I've been trying to find myself and find what I'm looking for, and right, I've been yeah. building up myself, building up my own businesses, and I've been very selfish with my time, and now I'm ready to give my time to someone else and allow someone else to come into my life. And I, I think that shines through. You got a lot of you got a lot of humor, a lot of funny jokes, but you got some seriousness in your words and in your pictures. So they get to read it, they get to see it, and uh, no doubt connect with it. And I'm super excited to meet some great women and get to swipe in. I had a great time updating my Bumble profile. Chase, thank you for being a part of this. Got and you, Give me some solid brotherly advice. Yeah. Hope all of you enjoyed it as well. Make sure you comment, like, share, and subscribe, and come back next time for more.